Hello everyone, it's Princess Games, and I know I say this a lot, but it's true. Uh, I go back to making MSP videos like usual. I start uploading on schedule three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I just don't post. Maybe I miss one upload date, maybe I miss two, maybe I was maybe I miss two weeks. Okay? <laughs> you know? And I don't I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I feel like every time I'm back on track and things are finally going okay, at least for my life, it's all fucked up again in a matter of like two, three weeks. And there's always something going on in my life. And it never, it never stops. <laughs> there's always stuff going on. So today might be a bit of a long video. I don't recommend watching this if you have an abusive family yourself and it might further trigger you. And if you don't like long videos, I don't recommend watching either, but Maybe you could watch this while in bed or something, trying to fall asleep. It's like 10, 11 p.m. right now, I don't even know. And uh, something has come up again in my crazy-ass life. Um, uh, my mom is such an evil fucking bitch. I, I, it would take like days, weeks even, to describe all the stuff that that bitch has put me through. Uh, so, she was getting a divorce with my father, and I'm talking about this online because I feel like I have no one else to go to in real life, and I feel like the only way to get my message out there and for people to hear me and for people to understand me is through the internet, and yeah, I'm going to have a bunch of people saying I'm lying about shit, but I guess I can just try my best to ignore them. I'm already, like tearing up and we haven't even gotten to the story yet but my mom sent out divorce papers uh to get a divorce with my father about three four months ago and they've been looked over by her lawyer she got probably just some sketchy guy up in uh new jersey she lives in pennsylvania now with this creepy ass guy she met on facebook that's right my mother is fucking some random guy she met on facebook like a year ago she left July 1st, 2016, and I've actually looked this up online, and the child can... <sighs> I don't know how to explain this, but if you... Uh, the definition is to drop your child off at a relative's house, and you don't see them within 64 days, I believe it is. Uh, the child can file for abandonment. Like, she has abandoned me at this point. She's been gone for, like, 400-something days, and she's left me here with my father, and this is my grandfather's house I've been staying at. And I haven't seen her in over 400 days, and I'm glad I haven't. My life has been okay without her. Like, if she was here, I would not be allowed to do... I would not be allowed to make YouTube videos, uh... All the YouTube money I would make, she would be taking from me. She told me if I ever made money online, she would take it. So I had to put my money in another family member's name, who I actually trust. And he doesn't spend any of my money ever. He keeps it secure for me. And then when I get it on the 21st, all of it's mine. I never have to worry about my money being taken away from me. Because I trust him like a father. You know, I don't think my mom needs to know how much money I'm making every month. That's not her business. Uh, she can't control whether I use profanity or I don't. This woman is crazy. So the new thing she is doing, she's trying to send a, a new set of divorce papers over here that basically states that she can have 50% custody of me. And I don't know if anyone has ever... I don't know if anyone watching has had parents who have gone through a divorce before, but what she's trying to do is she's trying to get 50% of custody 
slash visitation of me, meaning that she can come down to Florida, pick me up anytime she wants, and take me back to New Jersey or Pennsylvania to go live with her and some creepy ass guy. And that honestly scares the shit out of me, okay? It's really scary, I'm gonna tell you why. And she also, if my dad dies under any circumstances, which I thought this was very strange that she would put on there, but what she's putting in these papers is, if my father dies under any circumstances, if he's dead, I am forced to get on a plane, go to Pennsylvania, and live with her in this random guy who looks like a rapist, he looks like a pedophile, he looks like a serial killer that had, uh, I don't even know. Also, he's also cheating on my mom and he has like side bitches, like that's really fucking scary. And he like, he buys all these illegal drugs. He's buying prescription drugs illegally as well as cocaine. And probably worse, I know it's also weed. Weed and cocaine that guy's buying over there. And I know this because my mom was even like uh, doing cocaine with this guy, you know, snorting cocaine. And she called my dad and started like bragging about it like a couple months ago. And it's like, that's fucking disgusting, you fucking bitch. And here's why I can't have, she's, and I think my dad is like a part of it too. Anyways, if he dies, like, is she gonna have him killed off or something? If my dad dies, I have to go live with this bitch. No, I will fight for my rights. I will go to fucking court. I will be there in a second. And I have so much information to just discredit her with instantly. <sighs> so here's why I don't want to live with my mom and why she will lose when I go to court. Number one, she is heavily addicted to drugs. Uh, she, she used to buy Xanax from her best friend named Tammy a couple years ago when she was doing it for years. She was buying uh, prescription pills like such as Xanax illegally and using them to get high when she did not have the mental disorder required to get Xanax. I think it's for anxiety or something. She did not have it. Like She was using them and she would go get high in the bathroom. Uh, she has been Baker acted before. I've been Baker acted because I was swatted. Like, I was falsely Baker acted, but she was actually Baker acted because uh, she had a bunch of Xanax pills or something, and she said she was going to kill herself, and she kept swallowing pills in front of the people because she called an ambulance for herself. I don't know why. Anyways, and then the police came, and she kept saying she was going to kill herself, and then she escaped the psych hospital that they put her into, like, she needed to stay there. Maybe they would have actually given her some prescription pills that would help, you know? Because she's fucking insane. Uh, that's reason number one, she's addicted to drugs. I'm sorry, my eye is itchy. Uh, reason number two, she's been physically and emotionally, mentally, I don't know how to put it, abusing me since the age of six. And this includes spitting on me. She likes to spit on people, uh, punching, hitting, uh, throwing a remote at me, beating my ass with a frying pan, uh, breaking a brush over my head. The bitch has done lots of fucked up shit to me. I used to draw pictures when I was like five or six years old. I would draw pictures of me running away from her crying and she was like chasing me trying to kill me and that's what was going up in my that that's what was going on up in my subconscious you know thoughts of her hurting me and i would i would be terrified i would sit in there drawing these pictures and i would start crying and then my mom would see the page whatever and she would throw it away really quickly number three she's a terrible person when it comes to training people she has never liked any of my friends She's incredibly racist. She's always insulting people. Like, she's racist towards Hispanic people. She's called me a Puerto Rican uh, prostitute or slut. No, it was Puerto Rican prostitute. But I'm Cuban. <laughs> like, there's not just one type of Hispanic person. That's like saying all black people are African. I don't know. She's called them... Uh, Mexican, you know, N-word. That's what she calls Hispanic people as well. 
another thing that she has done is I used to have friends over at this house, believe it or not, when she would allow me to. And I was friends with this girl a couple years ago, like two, three years ago. And she was uh, Puerto Rican and Dominican. So, you know, she was dark skinned and she was half black, half Hispanic. And I just really liked her because of her personality. We would hang out a lot. And I had her over one time. We were hanging out in the living room, drinking like punch and watching TV. And my mom, uh, her room is right, the room that she was staying in is like an extension of the house. Let me explain this really quickly. I'm in the living room, and then there's a door that leads out into my garage, and then right next to the garage, there's a door that leads into uh, my, par my parents' room, which is currently being occupied by my father and my 20-year-old unemployed brother. And all my dad and my brother do back there is smoke weed. Uh, I rarely get food money or any help at all to take care of myself. My dad doesn't cook for me, he doesn't do my laundry, he doesn't do anything for me, ever. Uh, if I have an appointment because I need, uh, new prescription meds, like if I need my meds refill, he won't go. And I've been out of anxiety meds for like over a month now. I've been out of my medicine. And he doesn't care, he's always wanting to like cancel an appointment even before it's made. He won't ever call anywhere for me of because of the pol uh, the police assaulting me he doesn't want to call any lawyers or anything and then he was saying that if we win the case that he's going that he could start a business with that money it's like no that would be money addressed to me for all the emotional pain i've went through from being assaulted by a 40 plus year old man a police officer nonetheless like that's my money and it will be addressed to me and no one is touching it uh, this video isn't about my father, though, like, he's done some shit, too. My mom, like, uh, even if you look at her, uh, her record, like, she has lots of fucked up shit. When she was my age, she had five abortions, uh, once again, when I would have, when I had that girl over, my mom called me into her room, and she's like, when is that N-word leaving? And she would just treat her very badly. She thought that she was lesser than because of her skin color. And it's like, personality should really matter. I don't think age, race, skin color, ethnicity. I don't think any of that matters. I don't think religion matters. I think whatever you are, you're beautiful and you deserve a chance at life. Because not everyone is bad. Don't assume the worst of everyone you meet. Try to get to know someone before making a... Before... You, like, discredit them as a person. At least get to know them. I'm, who am I to go walk up to any, like, black person or mixed race person? I'm mixed race myself. But who would I be to go up to any mixed race person and call them something? Uh that is racially offensive without even knowing them like <laughs> who cares what someone's skin color is if they're a bad shitty person that's a reason why you should hate them you'll you should be like they're a fucking asshole i fucking hate them that's why you shouldn't say oh their skin color looks like this or their family members are from this part of the world that's totally irrelevant and you're just a shitty person if you think that way Another thing is she's homophobic. Every time I tell her, every time she knew I was friends with a uh, lesbian, bisexual, or a gay guy, she would fucking freak out and say how disgusting it is. And I'm like, they're my friends. You don't have to like them. And then when I call her homophobic, she's like, oh, I was friends with a gay person like 30 years ago. Okay. <laughs> and just... And just because she thinks her father's gay, she gets a free pass. She's always uh, making fun of her father for being gay. Not that her father is even a good person, but like, don't judge him because he's gay. Judge him because he's abusive. You know, I don't think the fact that he's gay has anything to do with it. I just really needed to rant about stuff. Not to mention her criminal record. She has threatened to kill many people. She has hurt many people uh i think she even has it uh, okay 
She also has it on her uh, criminal record that she molested a four-year-old. So, you know, I don't think I would ever be living with her or that rapist-looking guy. <laughs> and that honestly makes me feel relieved when I think about it. When I have all that against her, plus a lot more I can't even bring up in this video. When I have all that against her, she'll never have custody over me. I will never see her again, and if I do, it will be because I'm in court fighting to get away from her. I actually sent her a message right before recording this, and every time I like to talk about something mature and serious with her, she totally disregards everything I say, and she'll just put like, oh, I love you, whatever, and I know why she does this. She does this because if we ever go to court, they'll they'll look at our messages and it will show her being nice to me, but the second I get in a phone call with her, she's calling me a fucking whore, she's calling me a slut, she she comments on what I say, she has a problem with everything about me. And she's also always bitching about my father, she said fucked up shit about him, just because um, he's Hispanic and like the food he likes to eat, it's like that's someone's culture. Why well, talk about this with your 14 year old daughter? <laughs> you know? Uh, she's just done so much shit that I can't even think about right now. But she's a shitty person and I'm, I'm glad I come to the realization in my head now that I'll never have to be seeing her again. I'm not going to have to live with her. And when I see those divorce papers, I'm reading over them thoroughly because my dad could die at any time from the dangerous drugs he's doing and I really wish he would stop but I don't control my father you know and if I told him to stop every time I tell him that he should stop doing drugs he's like what drugs I haven't done drugs since I was a teenager when I've seen him do it before like recently too and it's like, we can smell it, everyone in this house smells it, everyone knows that he's doing drugs, and he won't admit it. Huh. <sighs> like, cocaine kills you, and if my father's dead, that really shows how much he cares about me, that if he's dead, he would let me go live with some creepy-ass guy. And my drug-addicted, abusive mother, like, who is he to do that to me? <laughs> you know? He really doesn't care about me at all. And this video isn't to get sympathy, this is to get my thoughts out and to let everyone know why my Monday was ruined and why I can't upload. My mother, she'll she'll never stop. She likes to see people miserable. It like feeds her whatever she has going on, it feeds it. This these really fucked up emotions she has infested deep inside. This is like pleasing the feeling she has, the negative feeling she has about people. It makes her happy seeing others in pain. Like she wants to hurt others. That's how she survives. She survives off of others' pain. And I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and like I go through enough shit with people online this past year has been crazy. I've been assaulted by a 40 plus year old man. I've had so many like sexual things happen to me. I've been abused. I've had, I've been swatted. I've had all these people fucking with me. And now I'm, my mom is trying to get back in my life again. She fucking ruined me. I'm, I will always be fucked up in the head because of her. But you, you can't abuse your children. Please don't. <laughs> Like, I don't even really care about the physical abuse at this point. I, I care about the emotional aspect of it all. Don't, mental and physical abuse is the same. I think mental abuse will actually fuck you up even more so. I don't know how old you all are because everyone is a different age who watches my channel. But please, if you ever have children, you ever adopt children, you ever have a child or even like, a, a younger sibling, don't abuse them, like it could really fuck them up and I don't think you want that for anyone. Like I'm a perfect example as to why, I'm like the poster child if you will, as to why you shouldn't abuse anyone. 
and I hope everyone who goes through something similar can eventually escape it because a lot of people can't. I won't be able to until I'm emancipated. And I looked it up and you have to have a full high school e high school education or you have to be the age of 16. I'm almost 15. So it's just a little over here and I can be emancipated. I can be free. Free of this abusive family I have and I'm apologizing for this pimple. I know I don't look the best last minute video, but thank you to everyone who watched and everyone who continues to support me even though I have a crazy ass life and a lot of it is out of my reach, but I'd just like to say thank you. I hope everyone has a pretty good uh, Monday and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.